Recently, I did a video talking about how Rockstar have gone about doing the Bosozaku styling in Cars for GTA 5. Now, in that video, I compared the Warrener to a mod of a Datsun Bluebird 910, and that mod, it was cool and it got my point across, but I wanted more. And so today, I have more. Much, much more. So this is a Nissan Skyline 2000 GT. This is the GC10 Skyline, but this one has a lot more tuning parts. So I figured we should just go have a look at this thing. So looking at the car in its standard form, we do have this big Kakimoto engine here, all 3D modeled. We also have the boot, can fit a, uh, a body pillow or two in that one. Then we have our interior, nice comfy rear seats, and then our dashboard. Very old looking, but of course this is a really old skyline. So just as a little taster, look at all the different things that we have to change inside of this. All of these options, as well as all of these options, I think we're in for a long video. So let's just start with the spoilers. We've got a lot to look at. So we have these different spoilers here. The naming thing, well, they don't really have names, but some of these do seem to be taken from cars that we've already seen, especially stuff like this. This is all like pre-existing parts, I feel, but we do have some big, massive spoilers, which, oh, okay. In the previous video I did on this, I talked about how it didn't have a Bossa Soku style spoiler. This one does. So I think we're gonna go straight in with a Bossa Soku style build, so I'm gonna go for that spoiler right away. On the rear bumper, we have the stock, we have the black, white, the uh, speed holes one, also in black and white. That is awful. <laughs> that is, okay, right, well, that's disgusting. Or we have remove bumper. Now, I'm going to go for, I, I, I think I might just go for the black speed holes one, or I might just go for the black. I think I'll just go for the black. On the rear, we have our chrome, black, painted, speed holes versions, or remove. I might remove the rear bumper. I might remove the front one, actually. We can come back to this. Skirts, we have neon, which is literally just a big pipe of neon on the side. Or we have these massive Bossozaki style ones, also with the neon. I'm just gonna go for just the big Bossozaki style uh, thing on the side. On the exhaust, we have lots of options here. We have some widdly ones, some bigger ones, some, were uh, oh God, some disappearing ones. I think that's just an exhaustless option. Again, there's no naming system for this. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, okay. We have the star exhaust coming out of the bonnet. I assume there's gonna be some bonnet holes we can have later. We have this one. We have this. Now this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna have to go for one of these. If we can get a double side one as well, that's gonna be great. So we have these on both sides. Here we go. Doubles, both sides. Oh, this is fantastic. We also have this on the side. I do like these ones as well. I'm a big fan of those. So none on the rear, again. Something else that I um, didn't mention in the other one is the extra options for exhausts like this. This is again something that I think Rockstar should definitely add to their own cars. I'm gonna go for these ones as I like the shape that it makes. On the chassis, we have some roll cage options. These are pretty much just standard roll cage things, I guess. So I'm just gonna go for the big giant roll cage because why not? And I think that's gonna be in secondary color. On the grill, these are probably just gonna be some uh, oil cooler options. So we have these going for a bunch of different lights. I assume we're gonna have some light cutout things as well later on. So this is all going to match up eventually. I think I quite like this, actually. I'm gonna go for this one coming out of this side. On the hood options now, and again, we have big, massive pokey out boys in loads of different options as well. So what's the difference between these? Ah, so this is where the cutouts come from. So I guess it's only gonna be a couple of styles, but we also have all the different cutout holes. So yeah, it's just gonna be the flat or poked in different hole formations. In that case, I'm gonna go for number seven. On the fenders, this is gonna give us uh, oh, some arch stuff here, interestingly. So we can have all of these arches. Oh my God, look at these. These are the ones we've got to go for. Ooh, or that one. They both work. They both work for Bossasaku style, but we've seen this sort of look before. Whereas these ones are a little bit more, eh, they're, they're, well, they're, they sort of work. I was gonna say they look a little bit more real because I've definitely seen ones that have had this odd look. It's a toss up between these. 
I might go for arch 8 for now, but we can change later. Then we also have the options here we go. Now, in the previous video, I talked about how the extension before didn't go across the whole part of the wing. It just sort of had a little bit poking out. Both styles are cool, so it's nice to have both styles. Oh, we've got uh, different things here, because one of them pokes down and one of them doesn't. Did I not spot that? Okay, yeah, so the first set of hoods actually point down, and then the other ones are flat. Again, another really cool touch. I do want mine to poke down, though. So we'll get ours to poke down too. But yeah, this goes all the way across instead of the other one like we had in the previous one. So it's nice to see both styles here. On the roof options, we have what on earth is that? Okay, it's just a hole with a, with a scoop. I didn't know that was a thing, but okay. Uh, I'm not really a fan of those. I'm going to keep that standard. We'll upgrade all of our stuff. We're not really going to be racing this around. What suspension options do we get here? Okay, pretty low down. We can tweak that later. So here we have our color options. I want to go for something bright, like yellow. And on the livery options, we had the uh, yellow band that we had before. We have none. We have this on the back, which doesn't really match up with our arches. And then we also have this police one as well, which is pretty cool. I don't think any of them match. This is kind of, yeah, I'm not liking how this all connects together. So I think I'm just going to keep it in one color. Okay, moving on to all of the details. We've got the plate holders. This is actually just going to be changing where the rear plate is positioned. And I did want to go for something with a bent up number plate. So that works perfectly. Here we have some options for rear lights. Oh, look at those. Oh, we can have that all yellow if we wanted, actually. I kind of like the black band in the middle. But yeah, these lights I definitely prefer. So I'm going to keep that with the dark one. So this is interesting. We have the option for a katana. <laughs> I'm sure, why not? Why not? Let's just let's just go full Japanese with this one. We have some Surikawas. These are going to be on the back here. We have this one dragging in different colors. I'm going to go for that one because then we actually get that matching the paint somewhat. That's pretty cool. On the interior ones, we have some cool floor mats. I think we'll go for these floor mats. They're pretty cool. We have some window sticker options. This is going to add a bunch of stuff here. I'm just going to run through these. I think some of these are going to be on the sides and back. There's a bunch that don't seem to show anything. Just like with the previous video, this car is also made by the same mod maker. And I do notice there are some uh, indiscrepancies. Oh, but I do like this. Shirt's tucked in. Nice. Uh, it's, in, it's between that or having this one. Uh, with the police smoking sticker. I'm going to go for this one as I like that big giant one. I don't really like the front. I kind of wish we had the option to just have the rear. It's either that or this. Actually, I'm going to go for this because I prefer the front. We have some options for air fresheners. We have some uh, black ice, lavender, spice. Then we have, uh, this is the mod maker. And then we also have the dice charm as well. Uh, let's go for some black ice. Why not? Interior seat options. We can remove left seat. We can also have this with a different seat as well. This gives us these cool old style racing seats as well, which are pretty cool. We have these ones and we have different options to have them removed. And that's actually, I think this is going to be either interior color or secondary color. So I'm going to keep that one, I think, but with only the driver's seat. I like to keep this bit empty. Freaky steering wheel options with Michael's open mouth. Okay, that's gross. Let's move. <laughs> We have the stock steering wheel. We have a wooden GC10 wheel. We have a purple Nismo, ATC, Keys Racing, Pro Spats, Nardi steering wheels. I do like Nardi steering wheels. We have some Driftworks versions as well. The Vertexes. Lots of different options here. I think I have to go for a classic Nardi. Maybe boring, but, you know, have that in Chrome. Great. Fantastic. We have some shift knob options as well. Um, okay. Let's go for the katana, just because it matches the katana that we have on the uh, parcel shelf. We have some plaques as well. These are actually just going to be the number plate in the window. Uh, on that side, it didn't have the lettering, uh, which is a shame. Uh, or we can just have remove. Uh, do you know what? The Bosasaku guys, they're, they're lawless guys. They don't, need, they don't need that. Now, for the trunk, we have two very cool options here. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm actually going to get rid of that old spoiler and just keep this one because that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, let's keep that stock and just have that. 
That is crazy. I don't know why that wouldn't just be in the spoiler options, but whatever. So we have some hydraulic e-brakes as well that we can add as well if we wanted this to be a drifter. I mean, it's not really, is it? I think this is purely just a... Uh, a crazy old Bosasaku car, so we don't need that. We have the options for some bonnet latches as well. I'm not really feeling those, so we won't have those. We have some more options. Okay, now this is true Bosasaku. I kind of wish I knew about this mod before I did the previous video. This is my redemption. That video, pfft, whatever. Look at this. This is what Rockstar should be doing. Look at this. This is so much more Bosasaku style. So we have this one. We have a slightly smaller version. And we also have this one. I guess they depend on what type of bonnet you've gone for. Yeah, I'm going to go for number two. Because I think that looks fantastic. Now, we also have some rear bumper options as well. We have the, uh, the neon bar. Then we have this poking out part. And then we have the neon bar on that one again. I'm just going to go for this one because it matches with the rest. Now, I think it might be time to change these arches now. I want to go for this and see how we go. Okay, so on arch covers, it's actually not arch covers. It's the hole for the light. So this one's probably going to be the one we need because the rest of them are just going to be some different ones. But we do also have the angled lights, another part of Bosasaku styling that I often forget about. Yes, of course. Okay. In that case, oh, we don't actually have... Oh, it's a shame that we didn't have the option to have one and then one with a hole. Um, but otherwise, yes, I'm going to go for that one. We have the antenna along here. I don't really need that one. Now we're going to have our front lip options as well. So we have lip one, lip two. I think that's going to get slightly... Now, there we go. We have, They do get slightly bigger. They also have these neon lights as well. We have the horns. Again, they might match better if we didn't have the pipes coming out of that angle. Some of those are definitely clashing here. I think this one right here is going to be perfect. And I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping that these arches would link more with something else. I'm still not sure on the arches. We also have the option for louvers on the rear. Um, <laughs> this is really... This is something. This is really something. I'm just, I'm just going to say yes to everything. So, yep, that's added as well. And then we have our mirror options here. We have, I assume, just a color combination and combinations of ones on different sides. We also have them on the doors as well. I think for this one, I probably just want to go for the one that are on the wings. So it's probably just going to be a single one on one side like that. Now, just to check if we do this, does this change the seats? It does not. Okay, changing interior and dashboard color does not give us anything. So I guess we are just stuck with the brown seats. Okay, so I'm going to go for these four spokes, but instead of doing them in black, let's see what other colors we can get here. I think white might work, actually. So I'm going to make the wheels a little bit smaller for this one. So that should give us enough arch space to deal with here for me to bring this right out. There we go. And again, on the rear, these tires have much better stretch than what I was using last time as well. And again, I'm going to go for some rear camber, bring that out like that, and probably just do matching camber on the front as well. I just want camber on all wheels. And then we'll bring that down as much as we can, maybe with a little bit more camber to hide that tire that's poking out. And the same with the rear as well. Okay, that does instantly go as soon as we move. So I'm going to move that rear height up one. Okay, we might have to reduce that a little bit because it's still poking through, so we might have to ignore that. But look at this thing. <laughs> look at it. This is just an absolute amazement. What a weapon this is. Absolutely ridiculous. Completely balls to the wall crazy. This was the sort of thing I wanted to build. And this is what I think Rockstar should take inspiration from. Because we need more of this. We need the wing extensions. We need bigger at the bottom here. We need exhausts that do this. We need this coming along here we need all of this we need this on cars as well we need stupid ridiculous and i think this fits the bill of stupid and ridiculous so absolutely perfectly but i'm actually kind of curious i want to do one quick build where i just want to see if i can make this be like a, a tastefully stanced car without other bossasaku trimmings just as a little piece to end the video okay so i have done my second build and i've got to say I'm actually in love with it. <laughs> this just looks so classy. I've added a little bit of corners to it. I've added these rear louvers. I've added this little ducktail spoiler. 
I've painted the bumpers. I've gone for a bigger exhaust. I kept the rear lights because those rear lights were kind of interesting on this, but looked a bit odd on this one. And I've gone for this cool, like, almost brushed metal look. I've gone for the, uh, just the same sort of wings that we have as standard. I've gone for little bolt-on arches, nothing crazy, a little lip spoiler at the bottom. On the interior, I did find you could change the colour, it was actually just the secondary colour. And just everything about this just looks so classy, as well with these three spokes as well, slammed down. As the four-door model as well, it just looks like such a cool cruiser. I know the Bossa Soku car is fun. I do want you guys to let me know in the comment section below which one you think is best. I know this is kind of crazy. I know this is kind of silly. The Bossa Soku car just is what it is. But this is just so classy. This has actually reignited my love for these cars as well because I've always been a big fan of this era of the Skyline. And just the thought of having one of these to cruise around in. Oh man, look at it. Such a cool car. But there we go, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched all the way to the end, you can say I married my dad in the comment section below. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> but, uh, or you could just say breakfast. But there we go, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.